Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Part 1, 2010 Here's a Harry Potter did you know. Filming the torture scene, where Bellatrix is torturing Hermione at the Malfoy's Manor, the climax proved to be very intense for the actresses involved. Most of the scene was cut to avoid an R rating in the US and a 15 rating in the UK. It was so intense and brutal that Helena Bonham Carter approached Emma Watson right afterwards to make sure that they were still on good terms. Hello everyone, welcome back to Movie Mistakes, and today we are going to show you some of the big goofs we found in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell now. We'll keep you updated on all of our upcoming videos. When Xenophilius draws the Deathly Hallows symbol, he draws it so that the bottom of the line touches the bottom of the circle. The shot cuts away and back again when he draws the triangle, but the line is no longer touching the bottom of the circle. When Hermione is being tortured by Bellatrix in Malfoy Manor, we see a close-up of Hermione crying, and then Bellatrix reaching over to Hermione's right arm to carve mudblood into it. But in the next shot, we see Bellatrix carving it into Hermione's left arm instead. At the meeting at the start of the film, Lord Voldemort's wand switches hands between shots after he takes it out. See? In the forest, when Hermione is sitting with her back against a tree reading, the book changes position between shots after Harry walks over to her. In a close-up, the top of the book is over her knees. In the following wide shot, the book is below her knees, and then moves back to its original position in the next shot. At the Ministry of Magic, as Yaxley is reprimanding Ron, who is disguised as Reg Catamol, the initial of Yaxley's ministry type-in changes direction. In one shot, the letter M is tilted to the left, and in a subsequent shot, it's slanted in the opposite direction. As the Death Eaters disrupt Bill and Fleur's wedding, Ron holds Hermione's right hand and Harry holds her left hand as she disapparates with them in tow. However, when they apparate onto Shaftesbury Avenue, Ron and Harry's positions have switched. Now Harry holds Hermione's right hand and Ron holds her left hand. Luna's dad pulls Harry aside at Bill and Fleur's wedding to tell him that he fully supported Dumbledore and now supports Harry. He's wearing a silver pendant in the shape of the Deathly Hallows symbol. In the close-up of the jewellery, it is over his yellow vest. In the consecutive medium shot, it is partly under the same vest. When Hermione removes her parents' memories at the start of the film, she points her wand at them and says, Obliviate turning her wand hand so that her palm faces upwards. In the very next shot, however, her palm is facing downwards with no time to change in between. When Hermione and Harry are sitting on the rocks by the cliff, Hermione is putting down a closed book. When the camera angle switches to see Hermione from behind, it appears the wind has blown the book open, but when the camera switches back to a front view, the book is closed again. One final switch, and the book is open yet again, flapping in the wind. When Harry is talking to Elphias Doge at the wedding, as Elphias says, Dumbledore was always very private, even as a boy. Well, Dumbledore was always very private, even as a boy. He is holding his drink in his hand on the table, but in the next shot, he is no longer touching it. When Mundungus arrives at the house with Creature and Dobby all over him, the pot, glassware, wire basket, bottle, etc. on the counter beside the sink disappear, reappear, and or change entirely in the close-up and following shots. So what did you think of these movie mistakes? Let us know in the comment section below which one is your favourite. Join our family today by clicking the subscribe button and notification bell now. Thanks for watching Movie Mistakes, and we'll see you next time.